Boloco may be a small family of burrito restaurants, but one of its long-standing menu items is inspired by a country and culture far away from Boloco's roots in Boston. This is Tokyo, Japan. The largest metropolitan area in the entire world. And the source of the inspiration behind the teriyaki burrito. This capital city has had its challenges. Between major earthquakes and World War II bombings, Tokyo has had to rebuild many times. But today, the city is modern and energized, yet still respects traditional Japanese culture. Skyscrapers, bridges, and huge subway stations that span blocks disperse the over 13 million people living in Tokyo. In the last year, over a quarter million teriyaki burritos have been eaten at Boloko. And where does that burrito's culinary inspiration come from? It all started here in Japan. But what is the root of these culinary traditions? That's what we're here to find out. In Japan, teriyaki traditionally refers to a cooking style. In the U.S., we usually think of it just as a sauce. But cooking in true teriyaki style incorporates much more than that. Teriyaki? Teri means shine. And uh, yaki means grill. Using a specific mix of ingredients. Sake, soy sauce, mirin, which is kind of a sweetener, and sugar. And it's ridiculously popular around here. It's pretty much like a really common condiment. The taste is always something I like. Seriously, in Japan, teriyaki is popular on all kinds of foods. Grilled fish. The well, famous one is a yell down. Chicken, vegetables, even sushi. I'm not gonna see this. Traditionally, meat or fish is marinated in the sauce overnight. Then, during the cooking process, more sauce is added. One, two, three. As many times as you want. <laughs> and all Japanese foods are prepared like a delicate piece of art. It is very important to present beautifully. You have to put green thing on this dish. You better. And the Japanese love fresh fish. Because in Tokyo, sushi is as fresh as it can get. This is a Tsukiji fish market, the largest fish market in the entire world. In here, over 2,000 pounds of sea produce come through here every single day. That is a lot of fish. Every day in this market, 450 different kinds of fish and shellfish are sold to 15,000 restaurateurs, including giant tunas that are auctioned off every morning for hundreds of thousands of yen, or thousands of dollars. In fact, while we were learning how to make real teriyaki from a restaurateur in Tokyo, a delivery from the Skiji fish market arrived on the doorstep. Only a couple hours later, customers would eat this fish for dinner. Now that is fresh. Really, the best part about this fresh fish is eating it. Mmm, a tuna sushi burrito. Sounds pretty tasty though now. Seriously, we might have to start thinking about putting one of those on the menu. Among these massive amounts of fish and people, the entire city of Tokyo is ridiculously clean. So maybe it goes without saying that people in Japan are polite, and the customer service is amazing. People don't understand like, the level of customer service here, um, and I think that's, it's worth experiencing. We agree. While riding in a taxi to a lunch spot, our cab driver stopped the meter, got out of the car, and literally ran us to our destination. And, despite struggling to execute proper eating etiquette, no one judged us one bit for our lack of skills. I'm not skilled enough to eat in Tokyo. We are used to eating tightly wrapped, easy to hold burritos. Lucky for us, slurping your ramen noodles is actually the polite way to do it here. Whether you're a skilled eater or not, there is clearly no shortage of good food to eat in Tokyo. While we set out to find the inspiration for teriyaki, we left Japan with our stomachs full of delicious foods from ramen to sushi and everything in between. Arigato, Tokyo, for your culinary traditions that have inspired us from all the way here in Japan to over 6,000 miles away in the U.S. with a teriyaki burrito at Poloko. Mmm, globally inspired.